This episode is just a wreck so far. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Sims 4 in the Suburbs. If you remember last time, this was not a very easy episode to film and show you guys because the cats and dogs kind of broke everything in the game. My game crashed. I didn't actually tell you guys this, but I had to make Bruno again. <laughs> and also, I realized afterwards that all the outfits that I updated it to everyone too because my game crashed, they no longer have them again. So one thing I do most definitely, definitely need to do is update everybody's outfits. But as I said in my last Dreamhouse episode, I've updated all of my CC. I've um, I've like updated all the mods that were causing issues. I've removed loads of the script mods. So fingers, fingers crossed. This issue won't happen during this episode. Send me your good luck vibes right now. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is, of course, updating everyone's looks. So they've got nice, fresh new looks all over again. One or more items may not be installed on your computer or the EA account that is currently logged in does not. Oh, six build mode items have been removed. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're going to have to search the house and see everything that's been removed. Bruno? Bruno, what color are you? Bruno, why do you look like that? I don't know if he's dirty. Maybe he needs a bath. Okay, let's see if we can figure out what has been removed. I'm kind of thinking it might be stuff like windows. Huh. So all the windows still look like they're there. Everything at the back of the house still looks like it's there. So what exactly got removed? Everything's still in Connor's room as before. All the Pokemon are still there. Everything's still on his shelf. Everything's in Charlie Rose's room. Oh, I know what some of this stuff is. So the prom mod, um, that was the script mod and the prom mod hasn't been updated yet, I don't think. So a lot of the stuff from the prom is what has gone. Everything else though, fingers crossed, seems okay. It seems okay. <laughs> Okay, so I think poor little Sal Maruni is missing work. So I'm just gonna quickly go in and send her straight off to work, please, little miss. You head to work. You guys were saying, however, that I need to put a fence on the front of my house. Or else this little smelly poo-poo. Where's he gone with his little filthy full he needs a wash? Look at him. He could escape if I'm not careful. So I think one of the first things I'm gonna do, I really, really don't want little brew brew to escape. I am gonna put a gate on the front of the house. Hopefully we'll be able to get one that's big enough. So I'd have to kind of do that and then go to the fence option and plop that on. It's annoying because it's not really... Oh no, it can be in the middle. And then the post box kind of is in between, which I know is a little bit weird, but oh, I need to do uh, BB move objects on. I've written BB like, like a bee, like a buzzy bee. <laughs> okay, so put the little post box in between like so. Ooh, you're a little bit far out, little post box. There we go. And I think that looks fine. That's like the front of the house now. It's annoying. I know there's a little bit of a gap there and it's not ideal, but it's okay, you guys. I think everything else looks pretty good. So I'm going to go back in and then I'm just going to make sure that everybody has their new looks. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you guys watch me put all their new looks on again, but I am just going to change them because to... Um, Connor still got his dodie and everything because of that silly crash the crash that ruined everything And then some of you guys were asking for a new outfit for Selma, which I could definitely do as well She actually has three outfits, but I'll change like her main outfit a little bit You guys were also saying you didn't like her hair being short and you want to go back to her long hair But I kind of feel like you know, she's had two kids like I don't want her to look too similar to Charlie Rose So I'm gonna keep her hair as it is. Okay, so a day looks, I've given her this little extra one. I like to go like quite glam on Salma. I just kind of feel like she's quite a glam lady. And then her formal outfit, I've done it where she's kind of plaited her hair back a little bit because I thought that was really cool. And then you guys wanted her to have some new pajamas, I think. I mean, I kind of like how she dresses for bed, but that's what you guys want. That's what you guys can have. Oh my God. <laughs> We could give her like this cute little sort of night dress here. That's nice. Give her a little black one of those. I think that's really cute. I don't know why she's got like little socks on, but I could take those off. And then maybe we can just give her like, I'm kind of always tempted by the rabbit slippers, you guys. I just am. Um... And then a party gear, I've kind of given her this one. A little swimwear, her hair needs to change on that. It's just way too long. I may actually give her the same hair as on her former look. Just like that. So she got that for around the pool. Looking pretty good. 
I can't remember what we did with James's look. Ah, I cannot remember what it was like before we crashed it by accident. Did we give him a jumper? <laughs> what did we do? Did we give him an alley eight up? I really can't remember what we did on him at all. So I'm just gonna kind of do like this sort of a thing with him, I think. Something quite safe. Safe and easy. Why does he look so tired? I think we might have lost some of his skin details along the way. I think we've got James looking back to normal. I kind of realized that James has got massive eyes. <laughs> but I guess that's why uh, baby Connor's eyes are so big. Because of James's. So it's kind of, it's still cute. <laughs> so cute. Okay. Okay. Now that's over and done with. These Cats and dogs bugs making my game experience so hard. Okay, so it's a Saturday. Salma Rooney is at work and actually, James, you're gonna have to go to work too. Which means we're gonna have to leave like poor little Bambino. He's gonna have to go to daycare, isn't he? He's crying because everyone's leaving him. What happens to the dog when we go to work? That's what I want to know. Toddlers, uh, oh, we can hire a nanny, okay. Can hire a nanny and then we've at least got someone to look after the dog too. And then we need to lock the door for all dogs. There we go. So the dog stays inside. Oh my gosh, it's Nanny Nakumara. The same nanny that has always, always looked after everybody. Everyone with her purple eyebrows. She is immune to growing up and oh my gosh, she's actually cleaning her house for once. Fair play to her. Oh my gosh, look how like dirt and filth the poor puppy is, man. What is that noise? Oh, it's the fire. <laughs> well, I need someone to come and clean my puppy. Do you think Nanny Nakamuara will actually clean my dog for me? Plus, can you clean dog, Nanny? Okay, we can at least get this little cutie pie to be leveling up his skills and stuff because he has actually been a toddler for a long time. His communication is five, his imagination is three, movement two, thinking two, but then his potty is only one. So we definitely need to get him working on his stuff a little bit more. Try doing some um, shapes, okay? Because your thinking is only two. We need to get that up a little bit more. Selma's home from work for little Connor. And we do definitely need to work on his skills and stuff today. However, right now, I think we need to look after poor Bruno. Because he's so filthy. Give bath. A bathtub is required. Okay, you guys. So that's kind of made it pretty obvious what the next thing we're going to do in this house is. We need to do a bathroom upstairs. And actually, one of you guys had the good idea to have like a pet room. Uh, but for now, let's get a little bathroom going upstairs. <gasps> there is um, a jet set luxury bath. But unfortunately, we do not have enough funds for it. We do for this very cool bath, however. So if you guys didn't already realize, I quite like decorating houses. And particularly bathrooms. So I've got this like quite cool like bathroom set. It's got this little bit here where like I, I can't put a mirror on that. It's really annoying me. But I like that it's got a bin and stuff underneath. I got my tresemme. Oh my gosh, I've never seen these so close. It's a salon silk moisturizer tresemme kind of style thing. Little toothbrush is there. And then um, the bath is here. It was re that was really confusing me because there's a mirror there and there's a mirror on each of these two. So there you go. What is that weird noise? Pet fears. No pet is truly fears, even Bruno. Each pet has its own unique fears, so watch out for what spooks them. <gasps> you spooked out by the TV? You don't like TVs, Bruno? You little spoony. How can you not like a TV? Okay, let's let out little, um, this little bambino here, so at least he's doing his thing. And then can we give Bruno a bath, please? I think Connor may need a bath as well. Connor actually needs to do his potty. <gasps> he needs to ask for potty help, though. Okay. Ask Salma for potty help first. No, no, Salma, what are you doing putting him back in there? Oh, giving him some food. I mean, I'm, I feel like he's just eaten, but okay. <gasps> he just threw it on the floor! Connor! Here, you have to eat this sludge now. That's the penance. Okay, she's helping Pono with Connor with the potty training first. Bless her, she's got a lot to do, and then she needs to go and wash this poor little thing. Okay, James is back home now. James, why don't you wash poor little baby instead? Because it's this, these fountains are actually doing my head in. It's kind of all getting a little bit too much for Salma here. Let's see if she can, he can pick him up yet. Can he actually pick him up? Because we could not before. Please pick him up. Oh, he can do it. <laughs> he can actually pick up little stinky, stinky baby, which means we can give puppy dog his first ever bath. And gosh, does he need it? Because he is looking pretty filth. Uh, I, once they've done the bath, I'm gonna move the bath out slightly because it's kind of going into the mirror a bit, which I don't really like. <gasps> At least Connor has reached level two of the potty in though. 
And look at this, little Bruno here is getting a buff, which is nice, because he needed it. And he's been a good boy in the buff oh, as well. Okay. Well done, because sometimes dogs go a little bit crazy in the buff, but he's been good. Oh, poor little baby here has fallen asleep on the floor. For God's sake, we're not doing very good at the whole pet ownership and baby ownership right now. What's wrong with him now? Guys, it's all going wrong. It's all going so wrong. I don't know what's wrong with him, but he's all sad. <gasps> and Connor's wrecked. Connor has actually just wrecked the floor. Oh, what my gosh. <laughs> He's angry from sugar. He's tired from low energy. He's just basically been a little bit of a naughty boy. And Puppy Dog has gone to go sleep in that room rather than by himself downstairs. Everyone's just sad and miserable. Go to sleep. Oh, he's too scared. He's had a nightmare. Oh, gosh. Having a toddler and having a puppy is actually really hard. <laughs> really, really hard. Doggy needs to go outside. Oh, my gosh. Salma, you're going to have to wake up as well. Okay, so why don't we pick up the puppy, bring him out into the butt garden. It's all is a very difficult couple of hours, to be honest, you guys. Can you bring her outside, him outside? <gasps> Perfect. Okay. She's bringing him outside, out to his little bit in the back. Put Bruno down here and then um, ask to go potty. And hopefully he's going to do it. Oh, I feel stressed. I feel stressed just playing. Are you going to do some toilets? Do some toilets for us, little one. I know you're hungry, Salma, but you've got to train your dog as well. There we go. I know he's made a bit of a mess, but he's been a good boy. Praise him. And then give him a little treat, okay? And now she's stressed because it's so messy outside. Oh, guys, it's all going wrong. Oh, and she just left the dog outside. No. Go go pick up the doggy, okay? We can't leave him out there all on his own. Oh, we need to lock this for as well, don't we? For all dogs. Oh, my gosh. It's a stressful day. Where is Bruno? Stop leaving the dog outside. Oh, my gosh. James, James, James. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Go here. And then call the dog over to you, okay? You need to stop. Oh, maybe he's locked outside now. Oh my god. <laughs> unlock. Let's just unlock the door. I don't think he's going to run away. And then can we call in the dog, please? Okay, finally, the poor little puppy is coming back inside. And he's playing with his little hamburger that we got him at least. Looking really cute. But my gosh, too much stress in such a short amount of time. I can't wait for Connor to be aged up. Let's try and get everything up to level five so he can be less of a little fuss pot. I also, by the way, guys, just fixed. Oh my gosh, get rid of that. <laughs> the glitch you guys noticed, which is that the bathroom didn't actually have a um, any flaw to it, which was really dumb. So I fixed that. Still got a little hole in the house here. So I've just fixed that too. <laughs> and I realized that we didn't actually have like any proper floor. It was just like concrete upstairs. <gasps> <laughs> Where's my floor gone here? What on earth have I done? Oh my gosh. This episode is just a wreck so far. Okay, guys, there. We've sorted out that area and I've also made it a little bit of a feature. I think that's right now. Let's make sure we don't accidentally have some other part of the house that doesn't look right. No, it's all covered. It's all good now. I was like, there's rays of sunlight there. What does that mean? But it's fine. It's actually just because it's like, it's like midday and the sun is coming up through the top of the house. Whew, okay, so Connor is off outside to keep the poor little puppy company. Because I'm a little bit worried that like the puppy's not very happy at the moment. Oh, little Connor wants to talk to Charlie Rose. We need to invite Charlie around actually and give her a key so that she can come and hang out whenever she wants. So little um, little Connor's just gone over to come and chit chat with this one, which is really cute. Oh, and give him some little loves as well. I don't know if James has worked today. He has work in three hours. But what I'm actually going to do is friends with Bruno. Connor and Bruno friends. I'm actually going to get James to um, take a vacation day. To oh, no, go on a vacation. Just take a vacation day from work today. Um, and then I want him to go around to the dream house. And just so that Connor and um, Faith can kind of get to know each other a little bit. Vivian's spirit is facing away. What? Vivian's connection to the physical world is growing weaker with each passing day. Lest she be completely forgotten, friends and family should visit her resting place and attempt to strengthen her connection with the physical world. They could also evoke her spirit and interact with her on a more personal level. Who is Vivian? Who is Vivian? Apparently it's somebody we know that's died. 
Uh, and we know the Grim Weeper. Look at that. We could call him and have send a text to the Grim Weeper. What? <gasps> oh my gosh, Charlie Rose is here. Oh, can you come and say hello to her? Oh, Charlie Rose has come round to come and hang out with them as well. I'm honestly really worried about Bruno though. Look, he's like walking around so sad. I don't know what's wrong with him and I don't know why he's so sad. Poor James is like still trying to like sleep off how um how late he had to stay up last night looking after Connor. So he's still feeling pretty shattered. But I do want him to come down and like check on poor little puppy. So like give him a little bit of praise. Give him some um hugs and some pets. <gasps> he's doing like little sad crying days. He's taking his day off work. Can we like ask him what's wrong? Like are you okay? What does that sad music mean? What's happening now? Oh, he's tired. He's just fallen asleep on the floor like that. Oh no. Can he not use his little bed? Let's ask him to lie down in his bed, okay? Oh, Charlie and Connor are sat watching little cartoons together, which I'm sure is pretty horrific for poor Charlie Rose, but she's doing it to chit chat with her brother. She's really cute. Oh, Charlie Rose just became good friends with Connor. And then James is gonna, uh, you need to empty that bowl and you need to fill his bowls for him, okay? He's asking him to go lie in his bed. I don't know if he can reach his bed. Huh, let me try just moving it over a little bit. There's a lot to learn with puppies, you guys. <laughs> there we go, now he can get settled on his bed. We'll fill his little bowls up for him as well. And let's clean up all his toys. And it's nice because James has got a little bit of a chance to catch up with Charlie Pally as well. I don't know where Connor is. Connor, what are you doing, babe? Ah! No, 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 no! What are you doing? Can we tell him off for that? Discipline, recent behavior, firm. Express disappointment for splashing in the toilet. Because that is absolutely gross. Can we get him not to do that, please? Okay, I think he'd give him a little tell off, you guys. Okay, let's do a little travel over to the dream house, please. Little travel. We couldn't do this last time. So hopefully we're able to do this now. So let's take Connor and Bruno. Fingers crossed this is going to work. Yes, I think my game is fixed again, you guys. I was so worried I was gonna have to like start everything all over again. Okay, so they live in Windenburg, but they actually need to go back to Willow Creek to the dream house and go and see the whole gang. There's a lot of Sims in the dream house, but in particular, I want Connor and Faith to become friends while they're still toddlers because I think it's time for Connor to age up very soon. Okay, so we're all around here. Can we just kind of uh, pick up the little pupper? And just bring him inside. Oh, we need to knock on the door, don't we? I forgot that you have to do that. I forgot that we don't just live here anymore. Connor, why don't you keep little Bruno occupied while we're knocking on the door and making sure people are home? Give him some little hugs, okay? Come on in. Okay, everyone's at home. <gasps> There's little Faith the Rooney. Oh, please don't tell me she's going to bed. I don't think James has ever properly been introduced to her. So, you know, she should probably go and do that. Okay, so he's got little Connor Rooney in his arms. Let's bring him up to Faith's room. And can we pop Connor down here, please? And then I think we should bring Puppy inside as well and pop him down there. It's a lot of work when you've got two little babies, you guys. We'll ask him to go potty outside first. Poor James, he's got his work cut out. Looking after everyone. Actually, before you do the puppet, you should probably... Oh my gosh, we're going to have to introduce ourselves to Faith and then let her out because she's like crying in her high chair. Oh my gosh, babies, you guys. Babies are so much work. Tana's just like, yes, it's too loud. <laughs> this is just too loud. Oh, this little cutie pie has come out to come and see the puppy. Probably because she's got her own fox. So she's like, I know what to do. I know how to look after them. So they're, I can't like get them to talk to each other. Like I don't get how to make them play together or like talk to each other at all. So I might have to like invite her around on like a toddler play date. Cause like, look, they just won't, they're just like hanging out together, but they're not actually talking to each other. And also Connor's got like a dirty nappy as well. But at least now James knows Faith, he can invite her around on like a little toddler play date or something. But they just stunned and like, I can't, I can't get him to do anything. He can only do little poses and stuff. <laughs> and he's getting really mad as well. Oh my gosh, toddlers, they're just wandering around like being complete little nightmares. Okay, this was a bad idea because nothing's really working very well. So I think we all just head home. Jesus, this game sometimes. 
<laughs> why won't why can't toddlers talk to each other? Like I don't understand that at all. I just don't understand that. At least James is having like a nice little chit chat with his niece and getting to know her a little bit. I think for some reason he's reading her to sleep or talking to her or something. Connor's just been really angry and hungry and back home. So I think it's time we all go home. And we'll do a proper toddler to play date tomorrow, I think. Because this is just not working, you guys. Okay, so little Connor Rooney is up. He's playing with little Pr Bruno this morning. I thought I'd just check to see what his kind of overall sort of character values are. They're not great so far, but you know, he's only a toddler. He's got a little bit more time to sort of deal with things. We do still need to get those little skillerinos up though, but it's fine just for now. But I've never tried a toddler play date before. However, now that James knows Faith, I'm gonna see if he's able to do one. If you remember last time, we actually couldn't, um, we couldn't do this at all. It just wouldn't let us do it. I think James couldn't ring and then Salma couldn't, um, didn't know Faith or, th and then when I tried to bring Faith round, like, it just broke the whole game. <laughs> so, let's see. Yay, I can invite Faith! Guest toddler, you only invite the toddler around. Okay, I thought you would invite, like, uh, the parents around too. So, I think now that we've got the toddler coming round, we should definitely get some, like, of the little toddler toys that they can play together. Because I feel sad that they couldn't play any stuff together, but I think if I get, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this thing is huge. Oh my gosh, what? What on earth? How am I even supposed to fit that in the house? I'll have to just get this freaking huge thing. Oh my gosh. Where <laughs> Where am I supposed to even put that? Can it, can it even fit here? Just? I mean, this is a pretty serious toddler play date. I'm not going to lie to you. Look at all this stuff. We should have a few more toddler toys for sure, but I'm not sure if this is taking things a little bit too far. <laughs> it's a toddler play date though, you know. It's a bit of a special, special day out for them. I don't, oh my god, slide straight into the pool and drowned. I don't think that's a good idea for toddlers. Okay guys, it's a little bit slapdash, but there, loads of toddler toys. So, where is my little toddler? Where is Faith? Did she arrive? Where's her parent? Like, that's the weirdest bit. Where is Faith? Why is this a toddler play date? Okay, there she is, okay. Let's pick her up and let's see if they want to all come and play together. Why can I only play dolls with Faith? <laughs> what about my son? Okay, so hopefully these two are actually gonna like play together. I don't know why she's in such gross clothes. And like interact with each other a little bit. I don't get why- Oh, invite to play dolls! Okay, this is how we get them to become friends, you guys. Okay, so they're playing dolls together now. Is it actually building up any kind of a relationship between the two of them? I don't know if they're actually, like, talking to each other as they're playing. This poor little baby needs a bath, I swear. James is just, like, watching them. But I don't understand why I can't make them, like, talk to each other. I don't get that. Maybe we can at least cook up some barbecue food for them. What do you think? Why don't we grill maybe some little baked potatoes? Okay, why don't- Oh, Emma's come round. So Emily must be working or something because Emma's come round instead. That stinky little baby has just disappeared off into here. So I'm gonna get a uh, little toddler, um, Connor, to go in there and play with her as well. I just don't get why they're not, like, interacted in terms of being able to chat with each other. Because they're both playing on this thing together. But a complete opposite sides. Like, literally not even looking at it. Oh, finally, you guys. Okay, they're acquaintances now. So they are playing in there together, which is nice. Okay, I like that. That's good. At least they're going to be cute little friends with each other now. Salma has learned the following traits about James. Good. How would she never learn that trait? Oh, I think they're trapped. Oh, I actually think they might be trapped in there. Oh, no, they're still playing with this. But I don't know how they're going to get out because look. <laughs> They'd have to like crawl through there for God's sake. How has Salma only learnt that James is good after all this time? That literally makes no sense at all. Little Connor's playing in the ball pit looking really really cute. Can we get these guys to like uh, have a meal? Have a little bit of foodies together? Maybe they can't interact with each other because they um they can't speak. <laughs> Maybe that's why you guys. At least they're having their little little baked potatoes. Maybe I need to get them both to learn to talk so that they can actually have a conversation with each other, you guys. Toddler play date unsuccessful. 
Oh, and now Faith is going. What on earth? I lost her, by the way. She was behind here somewhere, and I tried to find her, and I literally could not find her. <gasps> he actually doesn't like Faith that much. They don't really get on, you guys. So that's not ideal. <laughs> I've got, like, all these toys now, and I actually kind of want to make to to um, Connor a child rather than a toddler, especially now that I clearly know I I'm not very good at play dates for toddlers. <laughs> I do want to get some of his little skills up though. So can we potentially um, I don't know what he's doing. He's being crazy Can we teach him his numbers or something, please? I feel so sorry for my sims They're like rushing in between looking after Connor and trying to teach him stuff trying to potty train him Running outside to go look after the dog bringing the dog to go potty outside. It's just it's a little bit stressful You guys it's a little bit stressful for everyone involved. I mean a dog's not easy though. I knew this I knew this would happen. Okay, guys. Today is the day that we're going to smash out all of Connor's learning. We've got him up at an okay-ish time. Oh my gosh, I think everyone in the house is a little bit sick, by the way. Because they keep getting these little sickness. Like, she's got an illness. She's all scratchy. Oh my gosh, we've got 24 hours to pay our bills before the power gets shut off as well. And we can't pay them yet because we need £6,000. The restaurant hasn't been opened up in ages. It's basically just a bit of a hard life for these two poor little pookies. But I kind of figure if we get at least Salma, uh, not Salma, Connor in a bit of a better place with his skills, then we can try and level him up into a child and things are gonna be a little bit easier. Cause right now things are quite tough at home, you guys. They are quite tough at home. I don't even think he's fully potty trained. He's only level two on the potty training. He's not too far off all his other skills though. So I think with a little bit of like concentration today, we can definitely get there on all of these. I'm trying to remember to keep giving this little cutie pie as much attention as we possibly can as well. <sighs> So much to be getting on with. We're just doing some little block teaching before poor Jamesy has to go to work. With these little Pokemon blocks here, I think they're kind of floating a little bit. They're definitely- oh, yeah, they're definitely floating a bit, but he seems fine. He seems like he can still use them, but he's not very good at the blocks. They make him a little bit upset and annoyed. And poor James is gonna have to head to work now, but... You're gonna have to leave him to it, Jamesy Bobs. Let him get on with it on his own. He's doing really well. His movement's good and his imagination's good. It's just the old potty and the blocks that he needs a little bit of help with. Oh, why is Bruno afraid of the TV? He really doesn't like it, you guys. James is like trying to figure out what he doesn't like about the TV and trying to put him in a bit of a better mood. But he's frightened of it. Poor little Bubba. He just needs a minute to calm himself down. You need to like you if you can't let your doggy be afraid of things though. So you need to almost like expose them to stuff to try and make it so that they get used to it. Because he has to get used to a TV. You can't not like be in a house with a TV. There we go. Do some calm downs of him. Make him nicer and happier. Oh, there we go. He's much better now. You guys as well were asking me, like, how do you make your dog, like, age up? I actually have no idea how you make your dog age up. <laughs> I actually have no idea at all. It's not obvious. It is not obvious how you do it. I don't know if you have to go to a vet or something, but I don't know <laughs> is the answer. I was like, do you buy, like, a dog cake and do, like, a doggy birthday? I don't know. You guys was also suggesting we're gonna we're literally gonna get um we're gonna lose the power because we don't have enough money to pay the bills. <laughs> but still, I wanted to put a little um doggy bed in Connor's room so that at least the little doggy, if he feels like it, little Bruno, he can I don't like that colour actually. He can sleep at the end of the bed if he wants to, which is really cute. And what kind of dog bed would go best in this room? Probably that one actually. That one suits like the little circle theme going on on the floor there. <gasps> Toddler, it's Connor's mastered the movement skill. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're doing really good. His potty is still kind of atrocious, though. Not gonna lie to you. Oh, look at him now. He can, like, toddle around so quickly now. Ah, little Baba. Just still need to learn his numbers, though. So he's doing, like, number seven. Do you get it? Number seven. <gasps> look at him, little brainy boffin. Number three. No. <laughs> look at these two. Two little cutie beans. They're even, like, the same colour. <laughs> <laughs> Both got like little blondie hair together. I did hear some money which means little Jim Bob is home from work Which means we can actually pay the bills and then hopefully we should get a few lights back on in the house There we go you guys Okay, Connor. I know you're sleeping 
But I really want to get these skills up. So do you mind if we read you a book, okay? Let's read Charlotte's Pig. It's like Charlotte's Web, apart from the pig makes the web and he's trying to save the spider. I love how James and Salma read to him from inside the tent. I think that's just like the cutest thing ever. <gasps> Connor has mastered potty training. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're so close to getting in with all the skills. I don't know why Paul or Bruno is sleeping there. But we're so close to getting him all the skills that he needs. Oh, Connor's mastered the imagination yeah. skill. Look at him having a little read in bed on his own. Little puppy is... Little puppy's doing a bit of a sad though, Connor. Oh, give him a little comforting hug and a little pet. You're sad. You're sad from reading. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come and give your little cutie... Cutie little bean on the floor some loves, okay? There you go. That's gonna make you feel better, isn't it? Cute head. Thing is, if I turn Connor into a, um, a child, I kind of want to make puppy into a dog. That's the thing. But I don't know how. <laughs> you guys were totally right about putting a food bowl um, and a little bed in this room. Because it means that Bruno spends the whole day hanging out with Connor. Which I think makes Connor pretty happy. So I like that a lot. Also means you get cute little scenes like this. Where James is teaching Connor numbers. And little Bruno's just sort of hanging around and watching. Just watching. Just watching his little human learn. So that one day they can do adventures together when he's a bit older. Oh no. Puppy's done its first poop inside, you guys. It was doing so well, but not anymore. Salma's on a cleaning frenzy. The dog's kind of barking at its own poop, <laughs> which is kind of odd. Salma's got the option to become companions with a dog, but I don't want that to be like a one-person thing and then Connor can't do it. So I'm kind of a little bit scared of doing that, you guys. Okay, Grandma and Granddadina oh, here. Ah. Jessica wants to know if we want to go over there to hang out, but we're kind of doing a bit of a thing here, Jessie. Sorry about that. Salma's baked a beautiful little cake yeah. for Connor. She's vexed because she's like, my surroundings are horrible, but I don't really know what she's looking at because everything's like nice around the house. <laughs> really, really weird. <gasps> Salma, why have you just taken a piece of cake, you big idiot? That's for the birthday party. Oh my gosh, you're gonna have to clean all this up now and bake a new one. You absolute spoon. Why have you done that? Grandma and granddad are here and Ali, uh, Ali. <laughs> James is just kind of keeping them entertained while he has to bake a new cake. Since Salma kind of ate the other one. Bruno's sad about something again. Like, puppies are hard. I thought these guys might be quite excited by the puppy, but... Apparently they're more excited by each other, so there you go. There you go. Bruno has learned to pee outside. Oh my gosh, something is going right. So Bruno won't go inside the house anymore. Okay, so Charlie Rose has come round as well, which I like a lot because I think she should be here for a brother's birthday. Uh, James couldn't be bothered to get dressed, so, you know, that's great. I was wondering if we can give, um, oh, we can show off new pet. <gasps> Where's that interaction just gone? I'm like, where, 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 where is it? Where is it just gone? Show off pet. <gasps> we can show Charlie Bruno. That's cool. Although it's kind of mean because it's like, look, Here's what you could have had if you were still here. I think he's telling her about the pet. You're not really showing off the pet. You're just showing off the fact that you've got a pet. Because I don't know where the poor little puppy is. Oh, he's there. He's on the floor there. I think Charlie might be going to say hello to him. No, she just walks around him like bothered. <laughs> I literally don't care about the pet at all. At least he's excited about the pet. And he's in nice clothes. That's always a good sign. Connor, do you want to come downstairs and say... You know, say hello to your parents. That would be lovely. Yay, we've got a cake. Okay, Salma, do you want to pop some <laughs> candles on it? Add some birthday candles. And then you want to help with blowing out candles. Little cutie pie, Connor Rooney. There's a lot of pancakes on the table because it was kind of like a breakfast thing. But it's 4 p.m. By the time all my sims have finally got their little butts organized. And here we go. At least it's finally this little cutie pie's birthday. I'm gonna have to like redo all his looks again, but there we go you guys Connor has finally aged up. He was inquisitive when he was a toddler and He manages to get plus two on all these because he actually got them all to level five But we need to give him like his main trait now. I don't know what to give Connor. I don't know what to give him at all If he was social, he'd be a little social butterfly wanting to have lots of friends or he could like have the motor one where he's kind of like his dad. He wants to be like a little bit more been able to sort of do because his dad's an athlete, like kind of like his dad. He wants to be the smartest kid in school or he wants to be creative. I don't know whether to make him social or like 
he wants to be tough. I can see how stupid his hair looks already from the top right. I kind of feel like he'd want to have lots of friends though. Him and his little dog sort of exploring together. And then what should we give him as like his trait? I think maybe if we give him the dog lover one, he'll, him and his dog will be like little bros and I kind of want that. So there we go. There's his two little traits, but I know already he's gonna be looking really screwball-y. So why don't you go and plan your outfit? Oh no, not you. Look, Selma can flirt with herself. Why has Selma got the insane trait? When did she pick up that? I definitely don't remember her being it. No. She doesn't have the insane trait. That's really weird. Okay, so Charlie Rose has sent Connor a gift. Look for it arriving in the mail soon. <sighs> Finally got this little bun bun aged up. It's been a He's been a toddler for a little while now. So I'm kind of excited to get like his kid look underway. However, I don't know why they've given him blue hair. Just what? No, we need his actual hair. Which is, which one was it? I can't remember if he was that or that. I think he was like this, wasn't he? That one's got like two lines in the side, which is pretty cheeky. Maybe he was that one actually. I think he was this one here. And then his eyebrows, I don't think they should be as dark as that if his hair's blonde. We need to lighten them up a little. I think maybe eyebrows like that. You definitely need like your eyelasherinos back on. I'm trying to remember what skin we gave him. I'm sure he had freckles. Okay, I'm trying to make sure. I've literally got my old video up from when I first made Connor because I want him to have the exact same look because Connor does have freckles. So I need to make sure that he keeps the same kind of general look as he did before. And then the eyes we gave him were these like Sims 2 eyes. Okay, he's starting to look more like Connor again now. Super cute, basically. So there we go. We've got his face back to being like more grown up Connor. But now we need to give him some little cloves. I like this music. I think this is like fairly new music, but I just think it's got like a cool sound to it. I like these like long line t-shirts because uh, this is the kind of t-shirts Ali always wears. And I think they look especially cool on like a little kid. Some of them are a little bit crazy though. <laughs> Maybe just some like that. And then I don't know, like some little, little slim trouser kind of dealios. Where are they? Or some like little harem pants. Oh my gosh. How cool would you look with those? I need some more, more like custom content genie buy pies because I'm not like in love with any of the custom, uh, sorry, the standard trousers. But I think getting him some of these is pretty cool. I need some of those in camo. They would look really cool. I could give, <laughs> I could give him like little Adidas flip, like uh, little flip flops. They are so funny. I think I'm gonna give him some of these little shoes instead though. He's looking cool. Like he's looking like such a cool little kid. I'm kind of intimidated by him. <laughs> I was kind of gonna give him a necklace, but I'm not really sure on any of them. So I'm gonna give that a swerve. I may, however, give him like a little, um, a little bracelet -y kind of thing. Just some like little bangles like that. He's looking cool. He's looking like such a little dude. I like him a lot. I do miss his cute toddler face, but I think he's a pretty cool, like, adult sim as well. Not adult, child sim as well. Okay, so that's his day look. What about his formal look? I hate that. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I hate that. Man, I need some nicer um, trousers for, like, kids, don't I? If you find some nice, like, boy trousers, please let me know. Okay, that's a lot better. Where's my little stripey socks at? What? Okay, I'll just give him some, like, feature socks. Maybe some little red feature socks like that. His sports wear, what can we give him for sports he wear? Okay, I'm gonna give him a little Adidas out for it for his sports wear. And for bed, what can you wear for bed, kiddo? I kind of like little pajamas. <laughs> that looks so weird on him though, cause it doesn't fit any of the rest of his style. He's got like some little spooky pajamas. He seems so much too grown up for this stuff already. It's weird. Okay, just some pretty simple bedwear. Have his eyebrows just changed? Why have your eyebrows just gone black for bed? Why have your eyebrows just become black? I did not make your eyebrows black. I made them like that color, I think. Oh, you've confused me now, child. Okay, I think that color. Stay that color. Don't be switching your eyebrow color around, okay? I did not give you permission to do such things. Okay, your party wear. I'm kind of enjoying these like big jumpers you guys. Oh my gosh, look at this one. And it's like crazy design on it. It's like all Adidas ones. That one's quite cool. I can see him wearing that kind of a thing. Maybe that kind of a thing for his party wear? I think he's a cool kid, you guys. I think he is a really cool kid. A bit too cool. I could definitely see him being a little bit rebellious if we're not careful. Maybe even a little bit rebellious if we are careful. There we go, you guys. Connor 
grown up now to be a kid with, with just a stupid amount of sus, I can just tell already. We thought Charlie Rose was sussy. I don't think she's got anything on this little kid. I think he's gonna be big trouble if we're not careful. I really do. Let me know what you think of his little look. And what, I, I wanna do the dog lover just so that it's like him and his cute little dog like versus the world. I want them to be like the ultimate little like cute companions together because I think that would be really sweet. If you guys like that idea, let me know in the comments below. Let's see this little tyke in the real world in all his beautiful sussy glory. Okay guys, let's take a little look at this one. Oh, everyone's leaving now, but it's fine because the birthday's kind of over. And here he is, you guys. Too much sus to be allowed. It's little cute Connor. Okay, bye Connor, bye. Nice seeing you. Shut the door behind you, okay? If you're gonna go for a wee. Thanks, kiddo. Guys, let me know what you think about Connor and his new grown-up look. And if you want me to age up Bruno so that they're kind of like... I, so we can take him on walks and stuff. Like, I just think it's kind of weird that he can't, like, take his dog on a walk. And that he's kind of, like... I don't know how he age up the puppies. If you guys know, do I go to the vets? Oh, look at Charlie Rose walking away over there. Can you see her? Walking away. Hey, Connor. And let me know what you think of his clothes. And if you guys have any cool clothes that I can kind of get him to wear, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in another Sims video. Bye. Bye.